As many as 20,000 people are buried in an overgrown cemetery in West Price Hill. Most of them are in unmarked graves. Potter's Field is where the city and the county used to bury people who couldn't pay for their burial or couldn't be identified after they died. WCPO 9 News reporter Lucy May has this story about a new effort to restore dignity and respect to that site. I was raised in the country in Claremont County and People that have preceded us are, are treated with great respect. Mary Jo Baisley has been working to help clean up Potter's Field for 20 years, often with volunteers from Elder High School. When you come here, these are people, these are human beings, and yet I don't feel they're treated with the same respect. This isn't any way to treat your fellow human beings. Now Michael Morgan is raising money for an initiative to restore dignity to the city-owned site. You know, I don't know these people, they aren't my relatives, but I think that it is just a core, basic social contract that we all owe each other. You know, that, that we recognize our fellow humans as fellow humans and treat them accordingly. The use of this land as a cemetery dates to the mid 1800s. Thousands of people are buried here. Best estimate is there's somewhere around about 20,000 people buried here. University of Cincinnati students spent months last school year developing plans for the 26 acre site between Rapid Run Park and Dunham Recreation Center. You know, we're, we're ready to do the work in partnership with those who want to help out. Garrett Diano says Cincinnati Parks, which oversees Potter's Field for the city, is eager to restore respect to the site. It's a sad legacy, but we really do hope to move forward in a positive light and again, give that site the dignity it deserves. Morgan Baisley and the other volunteers involved hope this initiative can transform Potter's Field into the resting place those buried there deserve. So this is Emil Rins, I think, if I pronounce that right. This is uh, Lewis Wainwright over here. We have Donald Mason. This is really the definition of disrespect. And I don't think anybody deserves to be perpetually disrespected. Lucy May, WCPO 9 News. Restoring Potter's Field will be complicated and it's going to be expensive. A GoFundMe campaign is raising money for the effort. You can find more information about the cemetery's history and a link to the GoFundMe campaign right now. It's in Lucy's story on WCPO.com.